Hey Rockets, and welcome to the 27th week of school. So of course our schedule is in a little bit of a disarray with, uh, of course, the ACT and the day off, but last week we did see the Solo and Ensemble Festival, which invited music students of all genres uh, from all over the state to uh, come to the competition. We had a string ensemble and we played St. Paul Sweet movements two and four. It went really well. I'm really happy with how it all turned out. Absolutely. Uh, do you want to see more about what the festival is about, what people do in it? Um, this is a, co a collection of high schools around the Fox Valley area. It involves like strings, band instruments, and even singers. And people just come in to perform in front of a judge and then get graded and possibly go to state. And how do you think uh, you did with your performance? I thought we did pretty well, you know? Yeah, me too. It was uh, a little, when we were rehearsing it before, it was a little rocky at times, but I think the actual performance today went really well and we're all really happy with it. Do you think you'll qualify for state? We'll have to see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> Last week, the DECA team finished its state tournament, and there we have multiple individuals on the team who are going now to the international tournament uh, later on. And here's more on that. Last week, we went to DECA state, and it was very good. We wore suits, and we took tests, and we did role plays, and um, it was fun. How did you place as an individual? I placed eighth. Uh, me and Leighton Brandt placed 8th, but if we placed 7th, we would have went to Nationals, but we didn't. So me and David Murphy placed 7th in our event, so we qualified for Internationals. And then Caitlin, Dietz, and Sophie Hodek also double qualified in their event and their project. Same with Ali Bradshaw, also double qualified. Do you want to talk about those projects? Uh, all of our projects were different. So like, I did a financial consulting one. Um, other people did like a community service, like um, raising money projects and there was a wide variety of projects and so now the five of us have internationals at the end of April. Four or five days in Orlando and so we'll get to go to Disney one of the days and then we compete the two or three other days and see how we do at nationals. And now for this week's sports update. finished up state today and we would like Long to weekend. inform you on how it went um overall we placed our team placed first for division one the nina powerlifting team for boys and girls together. yep and then girls individual raw team placed runner-up boys individual raw team placed runner-up and then girls equipped placed runner-up placed runner -up. but yep. those are some updates for you guys Everyone um, worked really hard and yes. the best Oh my gosh. It was there a tough meet, but tough meet, some grinders, but very proud of us all. Yep. So good job. Thank you. Okay, what were your thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, it went well. We got the job done. Uh, now it's just on to our next game. I believe we'll be playing MVP! Bloodshot. MVP! Uh, how does it feel to be regional champ? Feels good. Uh, feels a lot like last year, and we went all the way last year, so we're looking to do that again. Um, we didn't do too too hot in the first half, but you know we locked in the second half, got it done. You know, that's all I gotta say. Uh, what does the regional title mean to you as an individual? A lot. Can you be more specific? <laughs> entertainment event that is showcasing student talent will be occurring uh, next Friday and if you are interested in performing at this event you need to fill out the form and get in contact with them uh, as soon as possible. Uh, acts can include like singing, music, uh, comedy, just anything that you that would work well being presented on a stage in front of a st an audience of eager student spectators. If this sounds like you, please consider uh, being a performer just by signing up. Uh, they want as many acts as they can, just sign up. A new club that is centered around the development of video games is has recently been started at school and they have a, made a promotional trailer for prospective members. Hey you, 
Are you interested in video game development? Do you want to learn how to create your own game and bring it to life? Do you want to draw or script your own character and see them animated into a world of your own design? Introducing the Video Game Development Club. We are a group of passionate developers. We meet every Tuesday in room 115 in the Tech Wing to discuss the art of game development. Our club is led by a team of three developers who are ready to help you improve your skills. We cover everything from character design and script writing to programming and AI mechanics. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, we welcome all skill levels. You'll have access to a supportive community that can provide guidance and answer your questions. Plus, we use the Unity 3D game engine to create our games, so you'll get hands-on experience with one of the most popular engines in the industry. Join us every Tuesday in room 115 of the Tech Wing and take the first step toward creating your own video game. Get ready to level up your game with Video Game Development Club. If you happen to have images of students at work, so just doing stuff within the classroom, like something that would showcase student life, the yearbook would like to know your location. That is, you can email these kinds of photos to Mrs. McClowry, she's one of the yearbook editors, and they can be incorporated into this year's yearbook, and you can basically just have, as, as just kind of take example from what it's been in previous years. That's the kind of stuff that they're looking for. If you have any of it, please send it in. Next item on the agenda. That speaker that used to be blaring 70s and then 80s music is back again, and now we need 90s music. Uh, so if you have uh, famous music or something that you really like that was published anywhere between 1990 and 1999, you can fill out this form and we can put it on that speaker. And every Friday of, until now, until the end of the year, we will also be expanding it. You will not only listening to it, but you can also expand it to 2000s and on. You just have to scan the form. This week, the remainder of this week's weather will see precipitation on some of the days. High temperatures are going to be mostly below freezing. That's all for this week. I have had people get water bottles thrown at them, get their hair scratched, but never have I had people <laughs> put a that garbage Wait, bag you put that on top of their My advisory would love that. Okay. Pardon that brief interruption. Now the episode is over. Rockets, as always, be amazing.